These historical images show a black and white version of the cocoa history that belongs to a distant past. The housing, the clothing, and also the varieties of cocoa that were grown. Everything has changed. The standard of living of cocoa farmers has improved compared to the ones we observe in the film. And the children are not working on the farm as was seen in the 1950s. There is no unified picture of farmers anymore. The divest of old and young farmers, men and women, is recognized. Farmers can be the caretakers as owners of the farms live in the cities and hire people to take care of the farms. The historical disconnection between producers, processors and consumers has fortunately changed. Cocoa producing countries develop chocolate industries, whereas processors and consumers care for the production and develop certification schemes. Where the historical footage ended for Ghana was shipping the beans to remote ports, currently the production, processing and consumption are increasingly linked in different ways. Ghana has a port now where cocoa beans are exported and farmers receive a check instead of a sack of coins. They use bank accounts and do banking with their mobile phones. It is realized that contemporary cocoa stories connect people all over the world. very happy to be in Amsterdam port today because today I get the opportunity to see a different side of the cocoa story. You know Ghana is totally connected to cocoa production but most of the time the story ended with loading the beans onto the ships to be exported. But being in Amsterdam port today I have the opportunity to witness what happens after shipping. With the Abidjan Cocoa Declaration in 2012, a clear focus on the sustainable cocoa economy has been articulated. With that clear focus on sustainability, the entire cocoa sector has decided on a consensual process, bearing in mind that cocoa farmers should be adequately rewarded for their efforts. We still produce cocoa in Ghana just like the other countries who also produce cocoa. It's a very essential part of our livelihood, right from the farming through the processing, trading and all that. But there are still a lot of problems through the value chain, a lot of pests and diseases, problems with service delivery and all that. And this makes it very unattractive for the youth. <laughs> My wallet. My wallet. My own 
You know that because of the changes in consumer demand and uh, also the consumer preference for you know social justice, you know child labor is something that everybody would like to, you know every commercial entity at the manufacturing and processing end will also like to keep an eye on and make sure that it's eliminated. So it's not just a question of working for social justice and also the decent work agenda it's also of commercial interest to the, the industries that be. I think throughout the deliberations of this COCO conference, we should consider the voices of all the people 
throughout the value chain of the cocoa production right from the farmers through to the end of the value chain of the cocoa it's important if you want to make this conference a success and also to make cocoa production sustainable So people, the world, the music is back, back, back.